All right, this video is going to be the installation of this window film. Pretty standard, straight up stuff. Obviously the link to what we're using here is gonna be in the video description. Also, you can find that on our website at rdrv.net. That link will be in the video description as well. I've already gotten a couple pieces up, but in this front window here, again in the remodel, we wanted to uh, take down all the old curtains and this had like a, a curtain because it's, it's angled forward. Um, it had a curtain right at the top and the bottom. And uh, we were debating on what we wanted to do when it comes to replacing you know, some sort of treatment on this front window. And kind of came up with the idea of just putting some of this window film on. Um, we're gonna put curtains on the side windows, but on the front, because if we just hang a top rod, it would be hanging obviously vertically, and we'd have some wasted space, and we didn't wanna to have to have a second rod. It's kind of hard to, you know, to slide the curtains open and close. So we just decided to go with this. now. This stuff is fairly simple. There's no difference between this and any other window film that you're going to get. But I will honestly say that um, it, it's it, it's anyone can do this. Um, there's no stick to it. Um, it's all static clean. Um, and basically, what you do is you measure, you cut off your piece, and then there's a thin white, uh, not white, clear plastic film on this that you have to separate, and that kind of activates that static. Um, you know, clean that static charge. And then you place it on the window. You obviously have to wet the window. The more water, the better, they say. Uh, spray it down and then you use like a little squeegee or credit card or I'm using a, a, a spackling uh, knife to just get all the excess water out from underneath it. Um, very simple. I'm gonna show you a quick trick on how to, to be able to uh, pull that extra film, that plastic uh, sheet off of this because it is really, hard to get at. So um, let me go turn you guys around. I'm getting ready to, to uh, cut my next piece and then uh, I'll show you my little trick to be able to, you know, keep your sanity a little bit. All right, in my application, I need 11 stripes basically. So I've cut, I've, I've, I've uh, measured out my 11 stripes and I'm just cutting straight down in between, you know, the, the little areas. I just made this cut all the way down over here. Now when you get down to the very end, this is the little trick. You just leave, um, trying to record and cut at the same time. You want to cut almost all the way, but leave a little bit there. So you can see it's still attached. And then what you want to do for this last little bit is just rip it off. And you can see the separation already there between the actual film and the plastic cover that's going to, you have to peel off. So this gives you a little pull tab to be able to easily grab and pull that off. So that's my little tip and trick uh, to, you know, speed up the process a little bit. Now, <clears throat> these two pieces that I've done already, one was center, well, as close to center as possible. And the next one, this one here, I'm gonna have to cut down, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, kind of measure how much I need and then cut down the middle. This way I'm not having all this extra ex excess um, uh, to get around this corner. It's not gonna be, I'm not gonna cut it perfect. I'm gonna have it a little extra. I'm gonna take my um, my little carpet knife, my razor, and, and cut and trim off the, the corners here, so. All right, and it's all done. Um, it would have been better if I could have taken one piece and went this way, but that means the, the lines would have been vertical. So keep that in mind if you like this look. Maybe they make one where when you roll it out the lines so you can just have one piece. Um, if you look closely, you can kind of see the imperfections between the pieces. Um, but for what it is, um, you know, I'm happy with the way it turned out. So. Uh, again, the uh, link to this product um, and all the other things that we have done to the camper will be uh, on our website, rdrv.net, um, and specifically this vinyl, um, it's really the only thing I had to buy, uh, will be linked in this video. So, appreciate you guys. Um, we'll see you on the next video.